So when you're working in single crochet, the pattern will often ask you to chain, we'll say your work is going to be 20, 20 stitches or 20 chains. They will ask you to usually chain an extra one, which acts as kind of your the edge stitch. And then you'll always start in the second one. So this is the first one right here. This is going to be the second one. So you put your crochet in there, wrap around, pull it through, wrap around, pull through. So that's a single crochet. So we'll do that a few times. So you're going to poke it through the top of that stitch, wrap it around, pull it through, wrap it around and pull it through again through the stitch, wrap it around, pull it through, <clears throat> excuse me, poke it through, wrap around, pull through, and pull through too. So I'll just finish up this row and I'll show you what happens at the end. So through, wrap, pull, and through. So we're at the end here, we're at our very last chain, through, wrap around, and pull through two. So now to change rows, because now this is our first row, you're going to chain one. Right at the end, you're going to turn the work around, except that now, instead of, because our foundation chain is a little fiddly, now we're going to be working through the whole V. So remember we just did this chain one so now this is the, we've changed rows so you're like changing level we'll call it. So you have your chain there this is your first crochet so we're going under both of these loops here so the whole V wrap around wrap around and pull so through both legs of the V, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. stuck here. So through both, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So there you have it. There are different ways of doing this. I'll show you on the next row. I'll just finish this. With every the first couple of rows are always fiddly. Should be getting a little bit easier by the third row. So see this is where I change rows the first time. So I'm going to work that last stitch. Then I'm going to chain one. So some patterns will ask you to work through the front loop or the back loop only. So this is the, the back loop. This is the front loop. I'll show you what kind of effect that has. So we'll do the front loop first. So remember you have your chain one, changing levels. We're not using that. So we're only going to work through the front loop. So if it says single crochet through front loop, this is what it looks like. So you're only, sorry, only inserting the hook under the front loop.
we'll just move through this quickly to show you what it looks like on the other side. I'll reach my end, chain one. So have a look here. See the difference? So here on this row, right here, we inserted through both legs of the V. Here we've only inserted through the front. So it makes kind of like a little edge. It's pretty. And then some patterns may ask you to work through the back, only the back leg. So it's the same idea, through the back, I sometimes use this if I want to turn, you know, if I want an edge, for example, if I'm making a basket and I just finished the bottom and I want to turn so that it's coming up for the sides of the basket, I will do this. And then it kind of just naturally folds. And then you have this little edge here. So it's essentially the same thing, but it's a little bit different for some reason. It pops out just a bit when you work through the back. So again, just through that back of the V. Chain one. Let's just do a plain row now. So under both parts of that stitch. So let's go slower here. Both parts, single crochet under both legs, wrap around, pull through. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. And that is it for single crochet. The through the front and through the back you can use for any stitch, not just a single crochet. I just figured I would show you because single crochet is kind of the simplest. And there you go. All done. So let's chain one and I will be back to show you how to do the slip stitch.